Hello everyone! Today, I want to talk about something that lives on the ocean floor. And they look like a shape that we know. It's the shape of a star. Hmm, what lives underneath the water and looks like a star? It's a starfish, that's right. Starfish can come in many different shapes and sizes and colors. Let's take a look. Starfish can be all different sizes. Do you see all the different kinds of starfish right here? Let's take a closer look at the ones that we know. Starfish can be big or little. They can have skinny arms and polka dots. Or they can even have spikes and lines. Or be purple. Do you see how many legs that they have? Hmm. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Aren't they beautiful? And how many legs do they have? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, and five. They have five legs. And they can move across the sand and eat all the things that are on the sand. So today we're going to make our own starfish. Here are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need two paper plates, a pair of scissors, some markers, and that's it. Goodbye markers. First, we're going to get our paper plate and turn it over. Then right in the middle, we're going to use a marker or pen to draw our circle. Then we're going to make our arms. And do you remember how many arms we need? Five, that's right. So one, two, three, four, and five. Kind of looks like a flower but we need to connect our arms together. Now we're going to cut out along the outside line that we've created. Let's do the same thing on our other plate. Put a circle in the middle and then you get to design your arms. And we need five of them. I'm gonna have skinny arms for this one. What kind of arms are you going to put on your starfish? Hmm. Almost done. This is number four. And number five. Now we connect our arms. Do do do. Perfect. Now it's time to grab our scissors and we're going to cut it out. Ooh, nice starfish. Now it's time for the other plate. We're going to grab our scissors and cut it out. Look how my starfish are different, but they still have five legs. Now it's time to color. I have an orange starfish and a purple starfish, but we need to add our dots. Every starfish has dots on them because they have rough skin, and these dots actually are bumps. Starfish are covered in bumps, so we need to show that using polka dots on our starfish. One in the middle. And then we're even going to put polka dots all the way to this dot in the middle. <sighs> Look at my starfish. Now time for the next one. Dots. Look at all my polka dots. I am drawing polka dots. Can you draw some polka dots? Polka polka dots. 
Ooh, I tried to go really fast there. Ooh, now we have a middle circle. And I made big circles to go out to my other arms. It's up to you what size they are. They can be big or little. Bum ba dum! My starfish are so happy they want to dance. Remember that our starfish have five legs and they live on the ocean floor. They help our sand stay nice and clean. Alright my friends, I'll see you next time.